So first try to find out the angle alpha, which is for 720 Newton. Okay. So this angle alpha, we can find out by observing this triangle. Just assume this M. Okay. And this is N. So in the triangle AMN, this is two meter. Okay. And this opposite side, this is equal to three meter. So if you use tan alpha, So this is equal to opposite is three and adjacent is two. So alpha is equal to tan inverse three upon two. So angle alpha is, it is 56.3. So this is the angle for this force, 722 Newton. The next is 1000 Newton, okay? So for 1000 Newton, assume this angle as a beta. Okay. So observe this triangle AD and take this as a P. So in the triangle ADP, this is beta. Okay. This is D and this is point P. So AD, this total is, this is also two. Okay. So this is four meter and dp this is equal to 3 meter okay so this beta this is equal to tan inverse 3 upon 4 so this is equal to 36.86 so this is angle for 1000 newton okay now the remaining is 632 okay so you can assume this angle as a gap. So to find out the angle for a 632 Newton, we should consider this triangle QCD. So in the triangle QCD, CD is six meter, QC is two meter. So gamma, this is equal to tan inverse six by two. So this is 71.56 degree. Okay, so you have got all the uh, angles, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, next step is we have to resolve the forces. So for the resolution, resolve the first force, which is 722 Newton at this point. Okay. So this is the X component and this is the Y component. Resolve 632 Newton at the D point. So this is the X component. This is the Y component and resolve this 1000 Newton at this point. So this is X component and this is the y component okay so in your notebook you can draw this diagram again okay so this rectangle a b c d then show the forces 722 100 newton and 632 newton in the given direction and then show these components okay now this angle is nothing but this angle okay so this is alpha then this angle equal to this angle. Okay, so this angle is gamma because this is a gamma. And this angle is nothing but this angle. Okay, so this is beta. So after this, you can write the component magnitude 
so start from 722 so this component will be adjacent component to the alpha so this is a cos component so this is 722 cos alpha and this component is opposite component so this is 722 sin alpha okay then for 632 this is a gamma so this is the adjacent component there is a cos component so this is 632 cos gamma and this is 632 sin gamma okay for 1000 newton this component it is adjacent so this is 1000 cos beta and this component is opposite component so this is 1000 sin beta okay so now we have resolved all the components so your next step will be right summation fx so for summation fx 722 cos alpha it is on negative side so this is minus 722 cos alpha 632 cos gamma it is on positive side so plus 632 cos gamma and again 1000 cos beta it is also positive so 1000 cos beta okay put the value of alpha gamma and beta and get this total value which is summation fx then write down summation a4 so 722 sin alpha it is in downward direction so it is minus 722 sin alpha 632 sin gamma it is positive 632 sin gamma and 1000 sin beta it is negative okay so put the value of alpha gamma and beta with this value okay from the sign of summation fx and summation f1 decide the quadrant for the resultant okay and after that find out the magnitude of resultant by this formula square root fx square and fy square okay so just give me the answer for summation fx and summation f1 